Regularly, at the end of a perfectly normal day, we get news of the consequences of climate change. Natural disasters, environmental pollution, climate change. But can we do something to stop the situation getting worse? So that our lives fit in better with natural cycles? Yes, and the new approach starts at a trivial level. Organic waste yields valuable biogas. New technologies have made a perfect cycle possible. The European project Urban Biogas, a collaboration between 11 partners from six different countries, supports cities and regions in the development of biomethane facilities, projects and cycles. This involves the preparation of the gas in corresponding facilities, feeding it into the gas distribution network, and ultimately the preparation of utilization concepts for green biogas. An essential prerequisite for this concept is the collection of organic waste, or more precisely, of energy sources. It's important that the waste should already be neatly sorted at home. Because that is precisely what offers the advantage of being able to use the waste if it's adequately well sorted. For our new ideas for mobility, for making fuel, all of this would fit very well into this overall concept. So the cycle begins with each individual. It begins with neatly sorted organic waste collection. It's important to recognize organic waste for the valuable raw material it is. Unfortunately, this kind of environmental awareness cannot yet be taken for granted in all countries. But if municipal councils and waste disposal businesses work well together, the basis for reutilization does indeed exist. We can we can reutilize on a material basis, creating new raw materials from waste, whilst we can also reutilize on a thermal basis, gaining energy from waste. Here, biogas is one of the important topics we need to deal with in future. Following collection, the organic waste can be prepared with the aid of up-to-date environmental technologies. In order ultimately to be able to produce clean gas, the organic waste must first be freed of all extraneous material. This equipment sifts out sand and stones. Then the other impurities are removed, such as plastic fragments, which regularly turn up in organic waste. What is left is a bio-soup, the feedstock for gas production. Vom Vorratsbehälter geht es in eine Hygienisierungsanlage. From the holding tank, it passes into a disinfection unit. Here, the material is heated up to the regulatory 70 degrees for an hour. This serves to reduce pathogenic bacteria and thus rule out the survival of sources of disease in the material. It is the case that the end product of this biogas process is put to use in agriculture as a valuable fertilizer, but then it has to fulfill the corresponding quality criteria. The next step on the way to biogas is fermentation. Here a controlled fermentation process takes place. In diesen Reaktoren machen jetzt Milliarden von Mikroorganismen. In these reactors billions of microorganisms make biogas from the dissolved organic material. 
this biogas must now be separated from the liquid. This takes place through intensive mixing and stirring and then being subjected to three stages of purification. The purification process is technically challenging. If there are impurities in this fermenter system, such as high concentrations of nitrogen which can arise from abattoir waste, poultry manure or litter, then it's possible to apply a nitrogen removal stage. This stage is placed between the two fermenters and removes nitrogen, with the result that perfect fermentation can take place in the second fermenter and that the end product of this fermentation is available in appropriate form for agricultural use. The next step in resource recycling is treating the biogas to yield biomethane. In order for it to have the quality of natural gas and be suitable for feeding into the natural gas distribution grid, the gas must be purified. This involves the removal of sulfur and carbon dioxide. Biogas besteht üblicherweise Biogas typically consists of a mixture of methane and CO2, while natural gas is mainly methane. So, in order to feed the biogas into the natural gas distribution network, the CO2 must be removed. This removal of CO2 can be done in various ways. The first method would be to wash all the CO2 out with high-pressure water. The second variant is to remove CO2 from the system using amines or other organic compounds. And the third variant is to separate the methane and CO2 by means of membranes. This purification process yields a product equivalent to natural gas. The high quality of biomethane now offers a decisive advantage. It can be transported along the same grids as natural gas and thus utilized in a variety of ways. Gas can be used to run engines, power heating or generate electricity, and heat in combined heat and power plants. Heat, electricity and mobility. These are the three outstanding possibilities in the reutilization of organic waste. For municipal councils and businesses, the exemplary opportunity arises to run their own vehicle fleets on biomethane. Gas-powered vehicles are quiet, essentially odorless and environmentally friendly. The technology has been thoroughly proven over several years and is absolutely safe. If the appropriate prerequisites are satisfied, we can certainly head for a closed cycle, collecting the organic waste of which we dispose, operating a biogas facility along with a gas filling station of our own, and successively converting to gas individual fleets in particular locations. Then we can run our fleet using this ecological and indeed low noise technology. Innovative spirit, environmental awareness and new technologies. Based on these foundations, a perfect resource cycle has become possible. This involves cities and regions in Europe taking on a very important role. It is indeed all about using energy more efficiently, introducing renewable energy sources and driving forward ambitious plans for climate protection in Europe. Technically, the cycle is closed, yet nothing will circulate without the corresponding sense of responsibility. Even starting from the living room couch, we can all achieve a lot. <laughs>